of the illness are for a day or two but some of us are tolerant and we rest and we are fine but some of them who aren't use most common medications on their will without even consulting a doctor the fear of continuous tests and treatments and their cost is a contributing factor for self medication without proper diagnosis hello welcome to medical dialogues i'm roshni dhar and i'll be discussing about a study in the lancet that throws light on the inappropriate antibiotic abuse due to self medication the inappropriate use of antibiotics is a significant driver of antibiotic resistance in india unrestricted over the counter sales of most antibiotics manufacturing and marketing of many fixed dose combination antibiotics availability sales and consumption in the country is also one of the major regions for the antibiotic resistance the cross sectional data from pharma track a nationally representative private sector drug sales data set gathered from a panel of 900 stockists across india Researchers used the aware classification and the defined daily dose metrics to calculate the per capita private sector consumption of systematic antibiotics across different categories FDCs versus single formulations approved versus non approved and listed versus not listed in the national list of essential medicines The study found the total defined daily dose consumed in 2019 was 5071 million Watch contributed 59.4% defined daily doses while access contributed 27% formulations listed in the national list of essential medicines contributed 49.0% fixed dose combinations contributed 34% and unapproved formulations contributed 47.1% watch antibiotics constituted 72.7% of unapproved products and combination discouraged by the WHO constituted 48.7% of fixed dose combinations researchers said though the per capita private sector consumption rate of antibiotics in india is relatively low compared to many countries yet india consumes a large volume of broad spectrum antibiotics that should ideally be used sparingly they conclude that together with significant share of fixed dose combinations from formulations outside national list of essential medicines and a large volume of antibiotics not approved by the central drug regulators call for significant policy and regulatory reform that's all for today stay safe never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon